Gents, I'm going to go to KJ. Uh, uh, look, who's that little one? Who's that little one, Cam? Me, Kaya. There we go. Do you know what? Yeah. She looks so much older when I just saw her hair. They're beautiful. Look nah, at that. She's Let's like four months up. old today. So. <laughs> when I saw the head, I thought it was a toddler because her hair's really long. No. Well, first of all, Cam, I need to uh, I need to sue you for um, child cruelty. You're subjecting your child to <laughs> Manchester United. That should be child abuse, my friend. Oh my days! Uh, by the time we're by the time she's old enough, we'll be good enough. Finish, yeah, good. Anyway, <laughs> amen. That'll be great, man. Big up, big, big up, Kaya, man. She's adorable. Right now, my small has to go because I have to talk about this damn team. Um. Uh, it's, it's so many, so many things running through my brain, you know. So many emotions going through me right now. There's the there's the part of me that wants to say I was right. There's a part of me that wants to just throw my camera at the at the wall. There's a part of me that wants to weep and and mourn <laughs> for the state of my team. At the, of, at the end of the day, we know we know the answer. He is not good enough. That's it. He's not good enough. Today, you went into a game, needed to prove that actually what's been happening in the last few weeks has been a blip and we'll get over it. And it just feeds into it more. The way that we played today was honestly horrible. He was so scared of conceding, uh, of, uh, of, of getting round through because it happened to him twice in a row. He was so scared of that that he was like, okay, guys, let's compact the midfield, let's be tight and narrow, but then conceded the wide areas. And then guess where, where those two goals came from? From the wild areas. He, This guy is so incompetent when it comes to trying to actually set up a structure that covers everything or covers as much as possible. I'm not saying you have to be perfect every game defensively because people will make mistakes. But when you're exposing our players, when you're making their weaknesses shine and none of their strengths shine. I have to look at you. I have to look at the manager and say, what are you doing? Because you bought Onana. You bought a goalkeeper whose his best athlete is passing and not actually saving shots. And you built a system where he has to save shots. You've got Martinez and De Ligt, who are actually good on the ball, who are actually good at defending when we're on the front foot. But you've made a system that if their midfield gets uh, bypassed, they have to run backwards. But they ain't got the pace to be running backwards. Because today what happened to Martinez, we've seen it happen before, it's not nice to look at. But he's not the correct of their mistakes. He decided to put in a, um, in a European away tie the two oldest and slowest mandem in the midfield. Without Ugarte. Without someone with legs next to one of them that try and help them. And furthermore, it's not like we're sitting back. It's not like we're deciding, actually, you know what, with the team that we have, with the players that I've picked, I'm actually going to be deeper because I know Ericsson and Casemiro can't cover the ground. He decides, no, go up there and go gun, gun shot for gun shot, machine for machine. Let's, let, let it be chaos. Because that's what I saw today. We scored two goals. Big up Rasmus, big up Rashi. Well, let's be honest. We need to check Diogo Costa's bank accounts because the way he let those two goals in, I swear SEG sent over the care package, the stimulus pack into his account because that looked like match mixing to me because it made no damn sense how they went in. And after those two goals, what did we do? What chances did we make for Rasmus Hoyland? What play, what build up did we give Marcus Rashford to get back in to those kind of positions? Because today he was just isolated by himself, doing as much as he can by himself. I'm mad. Today, he's invisible. Why is he invisible? Because we can't comprehend playing on the right-hand side. Everything has to go down the left. Everything has to go down the left. That's what I'm saying. He can't coach more than one thing at one time. When we're attacking, it's down the left only. When we're defending, it's make sure we defend the middle and can see the wide areas. And I'm honest, this can't continue, Terry. We can't get to a place where every time we play good is because the, the manager is under pressure. It's because the manager is, is looking like he might yeah, lose his job. And, and the thing is, it's not sustainable. It, it, it isn't sustainable, KJ, but we're not even doing that anymore. If we're absolutely honest, the first 20 minutes, we were very good. We, we weathered a storm in the first five to 10 minutes where, and I thought we looked good. We scored the two goals. And what is it I text you? Now we'll see. 
Yeah. Now we'll see what happens. I, I was celebrating. I was like, now we'll see what happens. Can we do what I think any other very good to decent to very good team in Europe would do from that point? Become hard to break down, become compact, catch them on the counter, get the third goal and kill the game off. No, we can. We became too narrow, as you said, too compact in, in, in the sense of we were allowing them too much space out wide. We conceded. And then the tactic was, while we're stumbling around and nearly knocked out, we did what Anthony we did what Anthony Joshua did against Dubois. We are staggering, we are dizzy, our legs are thin. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put my guard down and I'm just going to fr- start fran haymakers. Mm-hmm. And we got caught on the chin. The only thing that saved us in that game was a very late, a very late equalize in terms of the result saved us. But you absolutely spot on. Nothing can save this manager for me. And that's why, I've, again, I know players made individual mistakes and people want to cook our players. And I understand it because mm. that's a fun thing to do. But I stand by what I've said. I think if you took Arsenal's actual team and players now and we swapped in six months time, some of them look like this in yeah, this because... system with no structure. They would they, they would look and we go, oh, my God. I, it, that, that, oh, he's a system player. Saliba was a system player at Arsenal. No. He, 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 all players need a good fucking system to be into work. Excuse my language, Cam. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't we, don't worry about that. She is. Here's, no, here's the thing. Before Cam goes off, I don't know if he's going to be positive or constructive. I don't know what he's going to do because Cam is a, is an anomaly right now to me anyway. I love I love you, Cam. You know I love I love you. But here's the thing: not every single one of our players is bad. I know rivals want to sit here and say, "Ah, oh, all our players are crap. All your signings are rubbish." But I'm sorry, that's not true. It's not true. Because we have, in that team, we have Champions League winners. We have league winners. We have World Cup winners. Cup of America winners. We have Cup winners with our own team. <laughs> so you can't sit there and tell me that 25 men at Manchester United are all rubbish. Sorry, I'm just getting a bit on flashback from me last season. That's what I'm just saying. And you are right, KJ. And, and, and the funniest thing is, KJ, sorry, 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 Mo. And the funniest thing is, KJ, in the group chat, when I see the Chelsea fans in our group chat who all last season said, who agreed with me, by the way, this is more potch than it is the players. There are individual players that need to be focused on, but it's more potch than the players. Yeah, they're, they're the ones right. going more in on the players than anybody else. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't get into those. Not, not you. Know, you, know, you, know, you know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. no, listen, KJ, can you take, put the statement out, please? Can you say, so, so based on what I'm hearing from you, do you think if you swap managers with Chelsea, if, if you have Enzo Maresca with these players, would you have you would you be playing ex- like better than Chelsea or similar? If if we swap Eric yeah. and Maresca, yeah, we would be playing better football than Chelsea and Chelsea. Maybe, maybe yeah, yeah, okay. Ten Hag is crap. Okay, Ten Hag is crap, yeah. we know that. But you said that our players are not bad. You yeah, believe with bad. a decent manager, you will see instant impact like Maresca. Yes. 100 percent Yes, and I don't think and it wasn't instant with Maresca either, like. It took yeah, a few preseason games. was looking sketchy. took a few games. Dude, right? uh, why is only Man United fans say that? Is it only banter, or you guys maybe are blinded by how bad Ten Hag is? So, so, so no, 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 guys, 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 guys. Let me ask my other question back so that we can frame yeah, this yeah, properly. Yeah. When we, when you're saying, do we think we'll be a, a better or good team? Can you emphasize on how good? For a moment, that will help answer this question. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. behind Liverpool and on, like I believe yeah. Chelsea are in the same level as uh, Villa's Emery. Like I believe they are a little bit, maybe sometimes better than Spurs. What I believe, Man United are two steps behind, not only mm-hmm. one step. Like I believe, I believe there is Brighton look better than you at the current moment. Coaching, yes. not coaching. Yeah. I believe you are two steps behind. While I believe Chelsea, Aston Villa are one step behind. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So I, I, I tried to put I it in level. So, 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 so based on that, I think we would agree. So, yes, if we had a manager, head coach that was coaching us and drilling us much better, I think we would be performing to the to the, very well to the level you're talking about. Then what we would see, then what we would see, is individual players that are not good enough that we then go right. Like Chelsea did this summer. Chelsea have added some really good quality this summer just gone to their squad. If Maresca took over last season's squad and didn't add any new players to it and had what he had last year, they'd, they'd be better than under Poch, but I don't think they'd be as good as they are now. That's why, even with a world-class manager, it's still going to take two or three years minimum to get us to a point where we can compete for the league because we all know the squad needs to be improved. 
However, I don't think that our squad is so bad that it can that it concedes three goals or more. 24 times in the last two years, which is more than any other team in the Premier League. I don't believe the squad's that bad. If the squad was that bad and it was purely the squad, we would have been relegated because relegation teams don't have records as bad as that. This is about the structure of our side. And I'm not too sure where that yes. beats. It's coming from Sam. It's coming from you, Sam. It's coming. I just muted you, my friend. There we go. Sorry. Um, so, no, uh, that's what Man United fans are saying. And it does get taken out of context a little bit. Yes. With a pr really good head coach, this team could fight for a European spot. C could make the top six. Top four this season looks like it'd be really hard how good everyone else is. But a really good manager could definitely make us win the Europa League and could yeah. definitely win us a domestic trophy. How do we know this? Because we won domestic trophies with this manager, with this squad. So winning trophies whilst improving is possible with this squad. We are not going to do that this season because we have definitely got worse since last year. I want to run the cam for a minute. Cam, what did you make of tonight's yeah, game in isolation, my friend?